Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale and you're looking at what I'm going to fix today from Home Chef. This is another Home Chef meal. It's Italian Parmesan fried chicken with zucchini and brown sugar butter sweet potatoes. Now the recipe the recipe calls for me to cut and peel the sweet potatoes uh, put it in a pot, cook it for 18 minutes, up to 18 minutes, you know, until it's tender with a fork. And drain the water, save some of the water, add the sour cream, the butter, the brown sugar, the salt, the pepper, mash it, and all that. I'm not doing all that. I don't feel like doing all that, you guys. Uh, can do that if you want to. Uh, if you want to, I will put the uh, uh, the directions in the description uh, for you. If anybody requested, I'll do that. But I'm not doing that because I don't want my I don't want my uh, sweet potatoes like that. You see my sweet potatoes right there. I turned my oven on. It's preheating to 400. I'm going to put some oil on. Rub some oil on it. Let it let it cook for about uh, bake for about an hour I'm gonna split it um, and I put the the butter in the the um, the brown sugar and all that other stuff in it but I don't want mine like that so you know they didn't they they're not sponsoring this video so I do it the way I want to so anyway um, that's what's going to happen so let me just take some of the canola oil just a little bit that they provided and a lot of times they don't provide the uh, canola oil but this time they did and mainly not even for the potatoes I'm going to use it but they provided it because uh, it's um, a fried chicken recipe and so, and I broke that little piece off. Okay, that's my oven timer. So I'm going to put this in the oven and let this bake. I like it to bake golden brown so it'll be mushy. I love it like that. And uh, I'll be back with the rest of the uh, recipe and the, and the how-to. Okay, while the sweet potatoes are baking in the oven, let me just show you what home... Um, chef gave me for this particular uh, menu item here's the zucchini they give you two nice size ones um here's the packet of brown sugar which i have some in my cabinet if i want more here's my onions um and i'm going to wash and pat dry all of my produce Here's some Parmesan. I got some from the last recipe. I got some left. Uh, it calls for some flour. Oh, they gave me the flour. It, it calls for enough flour to fry my chicken. Okay, and uh, here they gave me three of the daisy sour cream and I did say the oil and guys they even gave me the butter that I'm going to put they gave me two little package that I'm going to put on, on my potatoes and also guys They even gave me the chicken. Well, they're supposed to give me the chicken. They gave me the um, chicken. But you know what, guys? They gave me... This is a meal for two. They gave me two. Let me tell you what happened. I only got one left. So, I got some chicken in my freezer. I'm just going to show you the one. But I'm going to make some... Uh, the other one and, and do it the same way um, but let me tell you what happened 
I got up, I did not feel like going to the store. My dogs, I'll, I'll put this away while I'm doing it. My dogs ran out of dog food. So what I did, and I do this sometimes, what I did is that was already thawed up, all ready to go. And I didn't feel like thawing anything out of the freezer for my dogs. I cut it up. Stir fried it. No, you know, just a little bit of olive oil. Stir fried it. Chopped it up. Made some eggs. And that was my dog's meal. Okay, now, I don't do that all the time. I do it, you know, maybe a couple of t times a month. And I'll feed my dogs chicken. Especially if I don't feel like going to the store. Or if I buy big chicken breasts that, you know, I cut off a lot of the meat. Because I like my meat. You know, just maybe an inch from the, the bone. I don't know. I don't like my chicken breast real thick. You know, but it's really good close to the bone. So that's how I, I cook it. Whether I air fry it or fry it in oil or bake it or whatever. I, I, I don't like a lot of meat on my breast. Well, that didn't turn out. That didn't, <laughs> that didn't sound right. Uh, but anyway, you know it. <laughs> you know what I mean. So anyway, anyway, PG. Anyway, I uh, feed that to, I fed the other fillet to my dog, so I only have one. So I have some chicken up there, and I'll just, you know, maybe just do for the one and save the rest of the ingredients for tomorrow and cook it again. It won't be filmed. I won't show it to you again. Unless I put it on my other channel, that might be a good thing. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that when you, you know, and this is not a sponsored uh, video, but when, um, but when you order from Home Chef, the big items are included. Every now and then, you know, uh, they'll throw in the oil, but most of the time you use your own oil. Uh, salt and pepper. Sometimes they'll throw in the salt and pepper. It, 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 it varies. They'll always throw in ingredients like sour cream. I mean, so far, so far. The sour cream, you know, I've never had to use a vegetable. I've never had to use an onion. Uh, they'll throw in butter sometimes, but a lot of times I have to use my butter, but it, it's like 50-50. Um, they 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 threw in this brown sugar. Um, this is my first time, I think, or maybe my second using brown sugar. And the first time, um, they also, um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, anyway. But, uh, most of the time, they just throw in the, uh, main ingredients in oil, salt, and pepper. You know, your bowls or whatever is, is, is what you're going to use from, from your, um, cabinet. So, anyway, that's it. And I'll be back to show you, uh, the chicken part. And how I'll have everything cleaned and trimmed and cut up and whatever. Uh, so, not to make this video... Okay, guys, what I did is I washed and I patted dried my, <clears throat> excuse me, my zucchini. And then I cut up um, the green onions. Half I put into the packet of parmesan, the, the green onions in the parmesan. And half I uh, used for the zucchini. What I did is a half a teaspoon of olive oil and tossed it with the green onion and made sure it was some green onion because when you toss it, it's all over the bowl. And I put a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. And I'm going to roast that in the oven for 18 minutes. Then what I did is I used one package of the sour cream and a fourth of a cup of water and stirred it up. That's going to be to dip the chicken in. And this is what it looked like when I did the green onion and the parmesan. And I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do with that. 
So I just wanted to know, I just wanted you to see step by step because I just didn't want to show everything. And then this is my chicken. And I, I kind of cut it up smaller so it would fry easier. I didn't leave it in the fillets. Okay guys, my oil is heating up. Um, I put my zucchini in the oven for about 18 minutes. So what I'm going to do on both sides, I'm going to put my chicken, just a few pieces at a time, in the uh, sour cream mixture, and then in the flour. The other two sour creams, it was supposed to be in my sweet potatoes. And I found out from mashed potatoes that um, Home Shift, the instructions was to put sour cream in mashed potatoes. Well, some people like that. I don't. So I figured if I don't like it in mashed potatoes, you know, like the white potatoes or whatever kind of potatoes, you know, red potatoes, whatever you buy. Um, if I don't like it, I probably don't want sour cream in my sweet potatoes. So like I said, I, uh, I put my, my uh, sweet potatoes, they were whole, I put them in the oven. I didn't want to chop them up and boil them. To me, when you boil those, um, when you boil the, uh, Potatoes, I don't know. It just takes some of the flavor out. But, you know, if you want to do that, you can. And so, let me just show you. That's my mixture. Um, it'll be enough for tomorrow. But uh, I'll put everything together. And what I'm going to do with this Parmesan green onion mixture, after I fry my chicken, when I take it out of the oil, immediately I'm going to sprinkle that Parmesan green onion mixture over the chicken. And then I'm going to plate it and we'll see how it tastes. Okay guys. What I did is I doubled the coatings. I dipped it again in the sour cream mixture. The sour cream in the water. Make sure I, you know, use the fork and kind of incorporated it really good. And then I dipped it in the flour. And uh, the oil was hot enough. And uh, I'm just going to cook it probably four minutes on each side but I'll gauge it and see when it's golden brown and remember the chicken is about a half inch it told me to put it in between wax paper or what have you or plastic wrap and pound it till it's like a half a half an inch I didn't do that I, I, I just cut it I just cut it till it was about the thickness that I wanted which was a, you know a little bit little bit more than a half an inch so uh, I, I know how to follow directions but some directions I just deviate from because uh, you know I've been cooking for a long time and I know how I want it so you guys do it the way you want to if you want to follow the directions completely and you're kind of confused about something leave a comment and um, leave a comment and I will you know answer your question or I'll put it in the um, description area for everyone because some people might have the same question. So we're frying it and I have about four more minutes for the zucchini to get out of the oven with that onion, uh, olive oil, um, 
that we dipped it in, that we tossed it in. Oh, and you should smell. You know how onions smell when you're frying it. Oh, gosh, it smells so good in the oven. And then the house is smelling good because, you know, sweet potatoes, when you bake them in the oven, oh, that's why around the holidays, Christmas time, you know, your house is, you know, uh, smells so good from the pumpkin pie or the sweet potato pie or whatever pie you're, you're making. But I come from, my mom was from the south, not the deep south, from Arkansas, but, you know, that's considered the south. So I got that little southern thing in me also, although I've never been to the south, which I plan to visit. I plan to visit because I want to go to Tennessee. I want to go to New Orleans. I want to go to the south, and I want to taste some of that good cooking. So, uh, besides my own. So, um, now I'm going to turn that down a little bit because it's cooking a little too fast for my taste. But anyway, guys, the um, brown sugar and all those other seasonings that was meant for the, like, mashed sweet potatoes, I'm going to put that on my sweet potatoes anyway. So, um, I'm not going to not use anything. So, I'll be back. Okay, and let me just remind you, what I did is I put aluminum foil. You can put parchment paper on it too, but I, I did the uh, aluminum foil. So, um, I'm not going to cook them anymore. I cooked them for 18 minutes on 400, and I tasted one, and it's, it's the right consistency. And guys, you guys can use um, this for, you know, the same uh, ingredients. And the same thing you do for uh, fried green tomatoes that I have on my other channel, um, the Maryland Gale. You can use that same uh, mixture for uh, zucchini. And instead of making it this way, if you want fried uh, zucchini. Uh, so I'm going to uh, let the chicken cook a little bit longer. And then I'm going to plate it. Well, first I'm going to uh, put the Parmesan on the chicken. Okay, the chicken is out and immediately I'm going to put the Parmesan topping. The Parmesan and the green onion. Both the, I use both the stem and the onion and the white part. Ooh, I want to make sure some and instead of putting on paper towel I think I've mentioned it before but instead of putting it on the paper towel I put put it on the rack I couldn't think of that word for nothing yesterday it's just a rack but I couldn't think of it I put it on the rack so the chicken will maintain its crispness so you see how I'm just doing that put as much or as little as you want and with those green onions, that's going to be good. So I'm just going to use that much. And I can always dust it off if I don't want that much. So let me just plate that now. And let's see how this tastes. Because this is my first time having uh, Parmesan on my chicken. Uh, on my fried chicken. Okay, guys. That's how it looks. I'm sprinkling. See, the brown sugar came into this. Came in this pack. So I'm sprinkling some brown sugar. I'm going to sprinkle, if I can get this darn thing open. I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and pepper, just a, just a pinch. Came out in clumps, I should have kneaded it. If it come out in clumps, guys, and you get this meal, this from home chef, just knead it before you put the brown sugar on there. Okay, that's enough. Um, I'm going to put the butter. I'm going to use all the ingredients. And I'm going to use a pinch of salt. And a pinch of pepper. 
I'm gonna put a little pepper. I did look, put another pinch of salt on my zucchini. And let's taste it. And forgive me for my counter, guys. It's flour over there, whatever. But um, let's taste the chicken first. Let's taste the chicken with this Parmesan and green onion. Not bad. Let's taste the zucchini. I would have put a little Parmesan on my zucchini. Mmm, mm, that is so, 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 so good. And then, of course, we know what a sweet potato tastes like. Uh-oh. Everything is just so good. I don't want no sour cream in my sweet potato. Get out of town. Anyway, it all tastes so good. Any questions, put it in the comment section. I'll answer you. But you got to try that. That is so, so good. And uh, let me just say, those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, either one, being Marilyn Gale or Edie, Eat With Marilyn Gale, I invite you to subscribe to both channels and thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful work week and I'll see you again with another video.